Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road and today is a Wondering Wednesday. The question is, have you ever been wondering what GVWR or GVW means or what that, why you need to know that? What is this information? Or what about dry weight, wet weight, fully loaded? These are a lot of confusing things. If you're brand new to the RV industry, I'm gonna go over just quickly a little bit of detail you're going to want to stay tuned is because tomorrow i'm going to do a rant and talk a lot more about this information but today is just considered needs to be a bite-sized information so let's jump into this okay here i am crouching up against a taxa this is a manufacturer out of houston pretty cool company uh if you look down right here every manufacturer should have a sticker that tells you some weights. The most important weight that you're gonna to wanna to look for is the GVWR. What does that stand for? It's Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. So what it's rated for. This trailer specifically is 5,000 pounds. So what does that mean? Is that how much the trailer weighs? No, it's the Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. The GVW, which is the Gross Vehicle Weight, that's the, how much the actual trailer weighs empty right if you don't have water you don't have food anything and nothing inside the trailer that's going to be the gvw the gross vehicle weight now this trailer actually doesn't show the gvw some manufacturers will put a gvw typically it's because it's very basic or base and they don't give you any options tax it gives you a lot of options so it's hard for them to throw a gv W on every single trailer because it depends on how you option it. Are you going to put a bunk bed, fridges, and some manufacturers option things very differently, which is going to change what the trailer weighs empty, right? But the, the important thing to understand is the gross vehicle weight rating, the GVWR, is the maximum amount of weight that you can put in this trailer. If you exceed that weight, you're potentially going to have a failure, right? Whether it's tires or suspension, you know, it's not rated to have more weight than 5,000 pounds in or on this trailer ever. This one right here says that you have roughly, you know, 16 to 1700 pounds of cargo weight, right? What you're gonna do is say, how big is the water tank? And then you can, you know, most water is, you know, you know, what is it, seven, eight pounds per gallon. So you can calculate that into it and you kind of get an idea of where your weight should be. Typically, most people are gonna be putting anywhere from a thousand or so pounds in a trailer this size. They're not gonna usually exceed the GVWR. It would be very rare, unless you're putting rocks or gold bars in there. But that's the difference between the GVWR and the GVW. The GVW is what we call dry weight, which means there's nothing in it. This is a kind of like a yacht term, wet weight, which means you add water, gear, or you could say, you know, fully loaded is gonna be 5,000 pounds. But the, the best way to get your dry weight or your GVW is go to a scale and get it weighed right as soon as you buy it. And then you'll have an idea, okay, this is what it weighs empty. And then when you load it up, you know, you can kind of get an idea. If you wanna go to a scale, you could, I don't usually, I kind of just try to guesstimate as I'm loading things up. You, you definitely never want to go above what the manufacturer is rating the fully loaded weight as, the GVWR. It can be dangerous. If you get in a car accident, you could also potentially be liable because you're going exceeding the manufacturer's weight rating recommendation. That's kind of going to be one of the things that sometimes an officer will look at is are you exceeding the weight? He might not go weigh the trailer, but he's for sure gonna look at your truck. And if your truck's only rated to pull 4,000 pounds and you're pulling a trailer that's 5,000 pounds, you could get in trouble and the insurance company potentially won't insure you. So um, that's just something you should always keep a lookout for. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on this in the tomorrow's rant, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.